Let's look at ways in which you can tune the performance of Rustic. These methods are especially useful when backing up over a network or to the cloud. With the option No Scan, you can prevent Rustic from calculating the size of the backup. So for example, if you ran the backup command, append no scan, and this should make the backup slightly faster. With the options limit download and limit upload, you can control the rate in which files are uploaded. So limit upload followed by the size. This is in kilobytes, so you can do 1000 for one megabyte and so on. You can also do limit download and then the number in kilobytes. By default, these options are unlimited. But if you want to put some constraints on the upload and download, this is one way to do it. There's read concurrency, which controls how many files Rustic reads during transfer. This can be done with the read concurrency option. By default, this is set to two, but you can set this to something like 10 or five or however many files you want Rustic to read. Certain backend services like Amazon S3 and Backblaze have dedicated extended options with Rustic. If you do Rustic options, you can see all the extended options available to you and I'll be covering extended options in an upcoming video. But for example, S3 Connections allows you to set the number of connections when transferring files using the S3 backend. To do this, let's say we're backing up to Amazon. Here we could just do Option. And in this case, I want to use the S3 Connections option. We we'll do S3 Connections equal followed by the number of connections, maybe 10. This options flag can be used multiple times for multiple options. For large backups shooting across the network or the cloud, it may be helpful to set the patch size or how Rustic split up files within the repository. By default, this is set to 16 megs. You should increase this for large size backups. For example, 64 or 128 megs. So you could do patch size and I'll say 64 for this example. Run that. And while that's going, I'll open up S3 Browser to show you. Backup is complete. If I go into my S3 bucket under Media and Data, we can see that in our backup, we have some files that are around 64 megs. This one's 5K. This one's 14. This is one way in which you can limit how the data is stored in the repository. This also helps make transferring backups a little faster if you're using a large pack size. I covered compression previously in the series, but just as a summary, you can control how Rustic compresses files stored in the repository. This can be set to auto, max, or all. And this is done with the compression option. You can set this to auto, which has a good balance of speed and efficiency. Max, which will create speed for efficiency. And then off, which will create efficiency for speed, disabling compression entirely. Lastly, when running Rustic via task scheduler, Setting the priority is a way that you can control how much resources it should use. Right here I have a backup task which will run this backup back file. I'll go ahead and export it so I can change the priority. Open it up here and you want to come down to priority. And 7 is the lowest priority or running in the background. You want to set this to either 1 or 2. So I'll set this to 1. Save it. And I'll go ahead and delete this task and import the updated one. And this should provide Rustic with a lot more resources when you back up. Mm -hmm.